Hello and welcome to yet another of our Photoshop tutorials. This time we'll be continuing our photo touch-up sessions and we'll be taking a look at curves. Curves can be used to correct exposure and to add contrast to your images. Now we'll take the image that we worked on in the last tutorial, which was the Levels tutorial. Uh, this was the image, as you can see it was a washed out image. And we added a levels adjustment layer here to change the image into this, which was uh, a great improvement. And now we're going to use the curves tool to further enhance it. So once again, we'll be using the uh, an adjustment level instead of working on the layer itself. This way we can always go back and change it at a later date. So the adjustment level, but this time we'll choose the curves option and the dialog which comes up is the following here now curves are actually quite simple to use um, and they're basically just a, a mapping of pixels so just as in the histogram we saw in the levels uh, tutorial this is the complete black the pure black the darkest part of the image and this is the lightest part of the image. Now we can map these dark pixels to their corresponding pixels here. Once again, dark to light. So this is the light side of the image, and this is the dark side of the image. So we create a point on this line here, and we move it over. We can drag it across, and you'll see that it's getting lighter. And we drag it down here, and you'll see that the image gets darker. Okay, so in effect, uh, we take this pixel here, which has an input value of, well, it's down here is 82, and we can move it until its output value is considerably lighter. So, what we're doing here is taking all of these fairly dark pixels and we're mapping them to be light pixels, and the curve corresponds. The actual usage of this, the practical usage of this, uh, we just really need to touch it up. You can put a point in the middle here and move it lighter or darker, whichever the, the image needs. Now this image could do a little more contrast. We can try and darken it up a little, like so. This is making the, uh, the darker areas of the image, the beach and the rocks, very rich. But it's also made the sky a little dull. So we can make another point here at the top, and we can make that lighter. So that gives us an absolutely wonderful contrast. We've got the lighter areas here being made lighter, and the darker areas over here have been made darker. And what we've got here is uh, an S shape. So this S curve is a typical curve used by uh, many photographers. Just take a look at the, uh, we'll just say OK to this. We'll take a look at the image here. This is without the curves, and this is with the curves. And you can see it's made quite a huge difference. So the original image without layers or curves was like, was like this. And with the uh, layers, sorry, with the levels and the curves, we then get this which is uh, a much more professional looking image. So here's another image we can uh, apply the curves to. This image has got a strange exposure due to the odd weather conditions on the day it was taken. We can add an adjustment layer of curves here. And in this case, um, the image is neither one thing or another, so we can probably get away with just darkening it a little to actually uh, turn it into a stormy day. And I've just darkened the, uh, the medium to dark area. Press OK there. And you can see that's made the image uh, a lot more striking. If we were to go in and re-edit this and put, give it some more contrast, uh, giving it light as well, it, it, that doesn't really uh, 
isn't really what the image is asking for. You can remove this here by just dragging it down and off the curve. Uh, there, there's just, just the one point on the curve, just darkening it a little bit in the lower mid tones is sufficient to give it that really stormy day look. Uh, and that does help this image along. Well, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at uh, using layers, uh, sorry, using curves and levels, combining them. And also, we're going to be looking at using uh, layers and curves on parts of the image using masks. Okay, well, if you need more information and more tutorials, then you should remember that we have our website, www.photographybook.net. And, and there you can find all the information you need on digital photography and of course all of the previous tutorials. Thanks for watching. Until next time.